Good day, family, and all praises to the Most High Creator, Redeemer, and Savior. When my queen tells me to make a video because something needs to be put out, I make a video. Psalms 21, 10, and 11. Thou shalt destroy their fruit from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. For they intended evils against thee. They imagined a device which they shall by no means be, be able to perform. Psalms 9, 15 The heathen are caught in the destruction which they planned, and the very snare which they hid is their foot taken. Psalms 31, 1-5 through five. O Creator, I have hoped in Thee. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in Thy righteousness and rescue me. Incline Thine ear to me. Make haste to rescue me. Be thou to me for a protecting creator, and for a house of refuge to save me. For thou art my strength and my refuge, and thou shalt guide me for thy name's sake, and maintain me. Thou shalt bring me out of the snare which they have hidden for me. For thou, O creator, art my defender. Into thine hands will I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Creator, the Most High of Truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, starting this off, I have nothing against any migrants whatsoever. All right. So President Trump is sending over 15,000 armed troops to the Mexican border to stop 6,000 migrants from coming in. The United Snakes of America has been bringing in Middle Eastern migrants and dropping them in towns all over the U.S. for a while now. I've personally seen it in two states. <clears throat> Excuse me. Google it and you'll read stories of it happening. So the U.S. is bringing in Middle Eastern migrants and dropping them off with no issues at all. Yet 6,000 Guatemalan slash Honduran migrants unarmed and carrying kids, warrants over 15,000 armed troops with armed helicopters. The link for the uh, articles in the description. Okay, and the heathen call us drama queens. The important thing is, President Trump keeps talking about repealing the 14th Amendment, or amending it, to stop the migrants from coming in. Of course, President Trump will do whatever's needed to protect the heathens that he is right now whipping into a frenzy. These white heathens are going nuts because some Mexicans are coming to take their jobs, get free college, get free health care, get on welfare, shoot up the neighborhoods, ruin the schools, start meth houses, and everything else being fed to the heathen. But this video isn't about them, the heathens or the migrants. It's about you, the father's children. Bottom line is, if the 14th Amendment gets revoked and you get taken to jail for anything, anything, they have the right to not give you due process and you will sit in jail indefinitely. You are no longer a citizen of the U.S. So therefore, you have no rights at all. None. Please don't say they can't or won't do this because they're doing it right now to people that were captured in the Middle East. Another thing that I've only heard one other person talk about is if the 14th Amendment is revoked or lifted, or amended, whatever you want to call it, the heathen can legally arrest you if you protest any government figure or building, again throwing you in jail indefinitely. So if you're protesting in front of a government building, they will then have the legal right to take you away and lock you up. Let me repeat that. The heathen can legally arrest you if you protest any government figure or building, again, throwing you in jail indefinitely. All they'll have to do 
is have an excuse to take you to jail and you're done. Now let's bring in the heathen created groups like uh, Black Lives Matter, the new, new Black Panther Party, no disrespect to the old Black Panthers, and whatever, whatever other groups just waiting for black people to join. You see the end result, right? They tell you where to go protest and wait for you to get there. In your mind, you might think that'll never happen and we'll all rise up, join together, and kick the heathens' butts. Okay, that's funny. One word. Captivity. We aren't doing crap till our crap, excuse me, till our captivity is lifted. Craptivity. Could this be the thing the heathen does to make us cry out to our creator to the point where he comes, to, comes and rescues us? Could this be the hidden snare? I have no clue, but I do see it having the potential to blow up. Am I predicting anything? I don't dare. I fear my creator. I'm merely giving a heads up. I guess my main advice would be, fear your savior, read your ancestral writings, don't join any groups, cults, or clubs, because that's what they want you to do. Don't resort to any violence. Stay safe and do what the Most High tells you and not what man tells you. Be careful out there. Anyone can see this is a total setup to feel another one of their wicked agendas. Remember, Psalms 31, 1 through 5. O Creator, I have hoped in Thee. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness and rescue me. Incline thine ear to me. Make haste to rescue me. Be thou to me for a protecting creator and for a house of refuge to save me. For thou art my strength and my refuge and thou shalt guide me for thy name's sake and maintain me. Thou shalt bring me out of the snare which they have hidden for me. For thou, O Creator, art my defender. Into thine hands will I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Creator, the Most High of Truth, your Creator. Praise the Most High Creator, Redeemer, and Savior. Have a good day, family.